The awesome thing about using virtually anything that works along with Google and Google Apps is that there are constant updates. And this is the second time this year that I have been able to do an update for Fluberoo. And so here's the way things work now. Now, I've got a state capitals quiz that I had here, and these are the responses from that. Um, that is something that I've just been kind of holding here, just in case you're not familiar with Fluberoo. The idea is that this first line where it says your name, and I've got the word key, that um, has all of the correct answers. Okay, so I'm going to go to add-ons, and I'm going to go to Fluberoo, and I'm going to tell it to regrade the assignment. Now, if you haven't used Fluberoo for a while and there's been an update, it's going to tell you, hey, there's been an update. Will you allow it again? And you just have to go through some of those initial steps by choosing your Google account and then telling it to that it has permission to run there. This is going to tell me it's going to replace my grades because I've already graded this. Yes, I want to continue, so I'm just going to click that. And then we're going to see here, here's where the big change is. If you remember from before, Fluberoo had right here in the grading option, it just had point value. And then where it said I identify student went along with your name, it's always seen that. And then instead of it saying normal grading, it just said points and it had the one, two, three, four, so on. So that way I can give as many points as I like to with this. But here's what it has now instead. If I click where it says normal grading, let's say that I have a constructed response question, I can add in this grade by hand. And so there's that in there now. And so now whenever this goes through, it's not going to configure this question into the actual score until I have the chance to go through and read what those are. This is the same as it was before. It's saying that key is going to be my answer key. And I, whenever I filled out my form the first time, instead of putting my name, I said my name was key. And then it's just going to regrade my assignment. So now if I click here where it says grades, then over here, the capital of California, that was where I was looking for my students' answers, okay? See how it doesn't have anything in there right now? It used to have a one. So I can see here that all of my students got that correct. They all said Sacramento. And I can click here on grades, give Bobby a one, and give Johnny a one, and then there we have it. Now I've got their grades.